today we're gonna do a little bit of a competition. It's the light meat versus the dark meat. But I'm gonna show you two ways to prepare both that I think everyone's gonna love. I'm gonna start with a chicken drumstick bake. A little bit of soft butter in a bowl. A little bit of garlic. So what I'm gonna do here is make a really seasoned, flavorful butter. Next in, I'm gonna grate some lemon zest, a little bit of dried thyme. Finally chopping up some parsley here. So in we go. Actually, can't forget the salt. Little pinch of salt. And then just with a fork, mash that up. Now it's time to get that underneath the skin of the chicken. So I'm just gonna season this chicken drumstick pretty liberally. So this is something that you will wanna use your hands for. You just have to get in there, run your finger through it to create a little bit of a pocket, and then take some of that delicious butter and put it underneath there. And then just repeat and do it with the rest. Now, hand washing. Okay, so only a couple more steps here before we get this in the oven. I'm gonna sprinkle this with a little bit of flour and toss it all over, which helps us to get a crispy, crunchy crust on these when they come out of the oven. Toss them around. So we're gonna put them into our roasting tray here. You want something with a little bit of depth so that the juices that come out, you can use them to baste the chicken with. And make sure you put that little pocket of butter side up so that as these bake, that butter kind of melts and bastes the chicken as it cooks. Then we're gonna put in some cherry tomatoes, which I love. That'll make it a little bit of a sauce. I'm gonna grab my fennel, cut that into wedges and add those into the tray as well. So then I've just got some whole little baby echelots here. If you have bigger ones, just cut them into quarters. And those go in. Our lemon that we've zested, just cut it into slices. I'll just pop all of that in, in and around. Nice big glug of olive oil over the top of everything. More of that dried thyme. Little extra bit of salt on the veggies and some black pepper. Now the last thing I'm gonna add in here is some dry vermouth. It's not just for martinis, it's great for cooking. I keep it in the fridge so that it's fresh for me. And then we're ready to put this into the oven for about an hour. So while that's cooking, I'm gonna get started on prepping the chicken pie yard. So I've got my chicken breast here. Pie yard just means really, really thin. So I'm gonna get this onto my chopping board and I'm gonna butterfly it, which just means cutting it straight through that thick part there. And that is a butterflied chicken breast. Easy, right? So I've kept them attached there just at the bottom, but if you go too far and cut all the way through, it doesn't matter. You'll just end up with four pieces instead of two. Next, I'm gonna put them onto some baking paper. So two pieces of baking paper, a good rolling pin or a mallet, whatever you have. And just give it a tap. Okay, I think that looks pretty good. So you're looking for something that's about half the thickness of your little finger. A little bit of salt. Then I'm just gonna Pop it into some flour. The flour is gonna give it that kind of protective layer, which is part of how we're gonna keep this chicken breast nice and juicy as it cooks. And it's also gonna thicken our sauce. Okay, so a nice amount of olive oil in the pan. Okay, so it's time to add in the chicken. I'm just gonna shake off as much of that flour as I can and then get that into our hot pan. So this takes literal minutes to cook. It's like one and a half minutes on each side. We're gonna take it out of the pan and then start building our sauce in the pan. Okay, I'm gonna give it a flip. You see it's nice and golden brown on the one side. And then it's just like another minute, minute and a half on the other side and we'll take it out. 
Okay, so I'm gonna take that out onto a tray that's nearby. And then I'm just gonna pull this off the heat while I get the other bits of the ingredients ready so that the pan doesn't burn. I'm gonna go ahead and add in some butter. Some garlic cloves that I'm just gonna crush. I'm gonna leave them in the skin. Oh, it smells so good. Pop that back on the heat. At this stage, we're just trying to get that butter a little bit browned. I'm gonna grab my capers, give them a really rough chop, pop them in, and then sage. Finishing with some chicken stock. So here you wanna scrape off any of those bits that may have stuck to the pan, because that's where all that delicious flavor is. Get a lemon. So I've just put the chicken back in. Just a couple, maybe minute, maybe even just 30 seconds. I just wanna have a taste of this sauce. Make sure it's nicely seasoned. Mm. It's zippy from the lemon and the capers, and it's got plenty of that garlic and sage flavor. It's delicious. That looks great. Just gonna plate up this chicken paillard. Ooh, it's gonna be tough to pick which one I like best. We've got the dark meat over here, our chicken drumsticks with fennel, lemon, and tomato, tray bake. And then over here, we've got chicken paillard with garlic, sage, and capers. I don't know which one's gonna win. I love them both. I hope you like them too.